Welcome back, candidates. Staff Sergeant Chamberlain. Hey, um, I had a request today for a recon mission walkthrough and a knockout of bunkers. So we're going to knock those out um, real quick. I'm going to do them together. And then you'll just, I'll uh, timeline, tag them on the timeline so you know exactly where to go to find each mission. So we're going to start with a recon mission. Um, we're not going to worry about anything before the ORP. Your GOT will change in your mission brief, and of course your mission brief changes. But besides that, uh, it's, it's up until ORP, almost every mission is the same. Unless you get a movement to contact, I guess. You won't have an ORP. But, so for a recon mission, uh, we basically do everything the same up to ORP. We will change who's going with us, okay? So in the ORP, we're going to leave the Bravo team leader and all of Bravo team, okay? So going on our leader's recon, dropping stuff, no big deal. Um, where normally our leader's recon would be uh, the PL, or excuse me, the squad leader, the RTO, Alpha Team Leader, and Alpha Machine Gun. Okay, so that's our normal leader's recon. So now we're going to add two. Okay, so now we're just gonna take the rest of Alpha Team. So we get an Alpha Rifleman and an Alpha Grenadier or whatever your squad is made up of, okay? If you have a leader's recon, this is probably not the place to have a bunch of machine guns and Alpha Team. Okay, so I may backfill all the machine guns to Bravo Team Understanding that throws some logistical issues in there if somebody's support by fire and the assaulting element. Just understand this team needs to be quiet. They need to be able to move. You're going to have one machine gunner, okay, because he's still going to be your release point security, just like Leader's Recon. So this, these are who I'm taking. So it does change my gotwa. It changed my plan a little bit. We will move up as an element, okay, till we get to approximately 50 yards or to a distance I can see, hear, smell. Uh, I can figure out what's going on on the objective, okay? Right here's where I'm gonna set in my release point. And that's where I'm going to put the machine gunner. And now you can just leave a rifleman behind, okay? So machine gunner and a rifleman go there. The other two groups are gonna split into two, the rest of the groups can split into two elements, okay? Going, we're gonna use the same cloverleaf method we do for a leader's recon. So moving to the right or the south or whatever direction, I'm gonna send my alpha team leader and whatever rifleman or grenadier or whatever he has left. Okay, so they're gonna do their cloverleaf method. They're gonna work this side, taking detailed notes. Remember, this is a little more detailed than um, a general leader's recon, because in a, a leader's recon, we're just basically confirming a thing is there maybe, or seeing if they have three people. With this, we have a lot of details to give, okay? We need to know exactly what weapons they have, what communications equipment do they have, how many are there? Like we're just being the eyes of this operation. Going the other way, and this can be reversed direction wise, but you're gonna be your squad leader and your RTO. Basically those two are never separated as much as, or as little as possible, okay? Because that's the squad leader's way to talk to hire. They're gonna do the same thing going the other way, cloverleaf, get all their information, everybody moves back. Once we get back to the release point, we've done our recon and hopefully done it quietly so we didn't get busted, okay? Now, everyone just moves back. The whole group moves back to the ORP, okay? We can take up our security, uh, and that's where we're gonna call up that information to hire, whatever it was they asked for. That will be in your reports or in your PIR, uh, whatever it is that they, they wanna know. It's part of your mission brief. So that is a leader's recon. What generally is gonna happen is someone's gonna make noise Someone's going to walk out in the open. They're going to see you and how it becomes um, a full-on attack, okay? What it's going to test is your GATWA. So if your GATWA, if you said the very last letter, actions on contact, you better do whatever you said, okay? Most of the time, we like everyone return to the ORP, because now I have a full size element and I can decide what to do then. So if we're out here, we have a release point, okay? Uh, one group is over here doing their clover leaf. The other group's over here. Someone get, takes contact. We just break contact. Everyone moves back to the ORP. If you wanna put it in your plan that you come together first to move as a group, that's fine. Um, if you wanna save time and just send everybody back to the ORP, that's fine. Problems of concern here is going to be accountability. What if this group gets shot, right? Now they're down. Um, 
moving back to the ORP, you're generally within 100 yards anyways. This gives you a chance to get accountability, find out who is missing, and now we can make a plan to go rescue them. If we just try to run over there with two other dudes and they get shot, we've not accomplished anything, okay? Uh, so generally, just move everybody back to ORP, and now we can make a plan, and now we move out with, as an element, we'll set in a support by fire, okay, and then we can envelop them with the assaulting element. A lot of times, your recon missions will turn into an assault, just because um, you're tired, it's day three, four, five, you've been carrying, you know, 50 pounds on your back, sleeping in the field. People just get complacent, and they get seen or heard. All right, moving into KOB. Uh, KOB is not too much different than an assault. Just have to understand a couple things. So what we're looking for, uh, we're still going to have a regular leader's recon. Okay, so we'll come out, set up our release point. This is where we're leaving our alpha team leader and our alpha machine gun. The key things we want to find here, one is going to be which direction is the gun facing and kind of what is its cone of fire. Okay, like where can it see? The second thing is going to be the entrance. How am I going to get into this bunker? Okay, so that, that's where I need to toss a grenade in. Once I've identified this, that tells me if I'm going left or right. Okay, leader's recon, I can do the same thing though. Okay, I'm just going to bounce around my squad leader, my RTO, see what I need to see, move back, leave the, the team leader in place with the machine gun, and move back and get Bravo. Okay, then we all move up. We can set in our support by fire. Okay, so this is alpha team leader, alpha machine gun, and then all the rest of alpha team, whoever it happens to be. My assaulting element, I'm gonna go to the place I can get to the door and not cross a window or a gun if possible. Um, always move away from the machine gun, okay? So then we'll move across. Uh, I guess we get one more. 10 people, right, in the squad usually. So now I know I've got my squad leader, my RTO, and the next thing I have to remember is I have a bunker team, okay? So it's gonna be a two-person bunker team. It's gonna be set up exactly like an envelopment, so exactly like an assault. Um, we'll have the same triggers and everything. So we have to do a shift fire. Key thing here is that even though we've shifted fire, we want to continue making contact with the edge of the bunker because we're trying to keep the people inside from coming outside, okay? We would be spread out more. We wanna move out to the last known or the last visible cover, okay? Concealment's great, but we wanna be behind some cover here. All right, and then our bunker team is gonna do their thing. So make sure you have someone getting security back in this region, okay? This is, all of this is gonna be nearly impossible to see for your support by fire team. So that's a chance that someone could be there. So your last guys in line need to make sure they have visibility to make that a secured area. Same thing here, obviously I'm drawing them really close together. You would be super spread out here, okay? Now we've got visibility around the entire thing. The bunker team's gonna move up, okay? They're gonna get back to the bunker and this is kind of, we've probably all seen it in class, right? We're gonna say, you know, grenade out or fire in the hole or whatever it is you want to say. But essentially, you're going to lean in and toss the grenade. This guy's going to lean over and make sure there isn't a bad guy sitting here. Hello. Grenade goes boom. May I have your attention, please? Sorry, I'm at school, so school teachers, yay. All right, um, grenade goes boom. Both guys are going to move in very, very quickly. They're going to clear the bunker, get back out. Okay. Return to the same side, so that way we have security. Uh, I forgot to tell you, lift fire. You would have lifted as they moved up. Now the rest of the team can move forward, okay? So now we're all pushing up however many bodies you have. Um, I guess this guy's technically already taken. And now we push through just like regular. So we get back on this end, two, three, four, five. All right, we're gonna get a last man. We're gonna um, LOA. And then the other team will get up and push through just like an envelopment. So it doesn't change too much about the tactics towards an envelopment. What it does do is you have to put that bunker team in there and they have to go in and clear the bunker before you can move through. Key points are security behind the bunker where support by fire can't see as well. Your assault team has to pick that up. Um, just making sure everyone stays visible. These two heathens right here, 
uh, shouldn't do anything to get themselves shot, right? Throw the grenade, kill the bad guys, move in, move out, return to the place where they left so everyone knows and has eyes on them. The rest of the assaulting element moves up even with them. And then after they've moved up even with them, we can all push through to our LOA. All right, hopefully that clears some things up about um, KOB or a recon. If you have any more questions, feel free to post them here. Um, you have my email, I believe. You can email me. Um, any other ways you want to contact me. So let me know what your questions are. Appreciate it.